What do you use to polish the plastic windows on your convertible, your boat, or your Jeep? I'm going to show you what's best. Okay folks, Troy with V-Twins the V8s. I'm here today to walk you through cleaning plastic windows on your convertible top, your boat windows or your Jeep soft top, anything that has the plastic windows in it that's a soft top. We all run into the problems with the yellowing, the scuffing, the, the just kind of like just looks shabby and doesn't look nice and clean. So I have a back window for a car that I'm doing that I want to clean up and make it look as good as I can. So I went to, through the process of purchasing several different materials, everything that I watched on on YouTube was like use this, use that, this is great, that's great. So what I did was I bought a bunch of the stuff and I tried it all. So the first product I have is called Clearview. Clearview uh, comes from this company that makes all kinds of cleaning products for boats. Uh, their system's pretty good. It's just a two-step process. Uh, one step cleans it and polish it. The other step brings it up to a nice um, glossy shine. And then over here I have Novus. Novus is, um, I thought was going to be the best, to be honest with you. Novus is specifically for this. There's um, number one that cleans the surface. There's number two that removes um, light scratches. And then number three that removes heavy scratches. Okay? And then I decided that I would use some compounds like I used in my buffing video for how to sand and polish your paint and use the 3M perfected system which I have number one it's a coarse number two that's a polish and number three that's a fine polish so I have used all three of these systems on my plastic back window with varying results different amounts of work different amounts of time so what I'll do is I'll bring my my back window over here and I will show you the areas that I have and what I have done and show you the process okay so here is my back window this is what it looks like when I start out as you can see especially with this fluorescent light right behind it it's got like a very scratchy hazy kind of look to it and um, that's what I want to clean up okay so here is my first window pane here and this is this area here I use the 3M perfected system so what I did was I got my buffer and I buffed this three times with the individual compounds and each individual pad these are the results that I got I think that this is probably the best out of all of them it's hard to see with this camera but I'm moving it around so that you can see as much of the um, scratches that are left in the window because there are some left in the window okay now secondly this is where I used the Novus system now the Novus system is a three-step system you use a spray on it kind of cleans it then you use your number three as a heavy polish then number two to uh, remove the heavy polish scratch then you go back to one to kind of clean it and you can see there's still a lot of heavy scratches in this particular area I don't think that this area is as good as this area here as you can see so so far I'm still sticking with the 3m being the best so far all right now I have two windows over here this top section what you're seeing right here this is the clear view system right here now the reason I have two areas is this top one that I did here I did this um, completely by hand so in other words what I did was I just took the rag and the and the uh, clear view system and I just did it by hand with the rag and these are the results I got was this right here then down here I decided all right Troy if you use the machine on the other two you should give Clearview system a shot with using a buffer to clean it and this is the results I got with the um, Clearview system using a machine polisher I think it's a little bit better than the Clearview by hand but not by leaps and bounds this is the 3M this is the Novus, this is the clear view by hand, 
and this is the clear view by machine. This is nothing at all. This is what I started off with. So based upon the, the layout of my window and checking through and seeing what the 3M did, what the Novus did, what Clearview did, my general consensus is that the 3M was by far the best results, but it was also the most work. So I buffed both sides of that plexiglass three times with the 3M to get those results. Now, the Novus, I mean, I did it, I put as much effort into the Novus as I did the uh, 3M, but I didn't get near as good a result. And then we have the clear view. So now the clear view I took and I did the, um, the, the panel by hand and had really good, respectable results. And then I did it by machine, which was a little bit better. Still not as good as the 3M. So the 3M is number one. The Novus, I just don't really see a point, to be really honest with you. I didn't think that that product was very good at all. And then the, um, the clear view, I mean, if you were um, a detailer or you were just going to do routine maintenance on your car, you didn't want to use a, um, a buffer of any sort. You just wanted to apply it by hand and just rub it in, clean the window, polish it up. Then the clear view is your best bet. So with that being said, we've got 3M number one. Clearview number two and Novus number three or not even really on the grid. So at that point, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the entire process of buffing the plexiglass panel with the 3M system. And then I'll show you the results and then I'll show you the results, the completed results on the car. So let's get at it. Okay, so for the first part of this project, what I am going to be using is a microfiber pad, and that is going to be used on this Gryot's Garage orbital buffer. So the buffer moves kind of in a circular motion like that. It doesn't spin per se. It kind of oscillates is really the best phrase for it. So I'm going to use that with the microfiber pad and 3M's number one perfected compound. I am going to take and put some on the pad and I'm going to slowly work this system while I intermediately wipe the residue off with a microfiber towel. So I got my towel over here. I'm going to put that on the side. I'm going to apply my compound to the actual pad itself. And I'm going to start in a corner and work my way out. So I'll turn on my, uh, my buffer and I'll be going along nice and easy like this, not really applying a lot of pressure and just buffing along. Now right now I am doing the inside of the glass, so there shouldn't, there really isn't much for heavy uh, scratches because this is the part that hasn't really been exposed to the element. So what I do is I just kind of go along, I'm working probably a six inch by six inch area. I will do this. I will not let the compound dry. Microfiber cloth and I'll wipe the residue off like this and I'll look at it kind of in an angle looking for scratches. This will be done much like when you, we did the buffing of the paint is like if you look at it in certain angles in the under the fluorescent lights you're going to be able to see scratches. So therefore you can chase those out a little bit. This is, doesn't really work kind of like the paint. It does in some essence, but you can't really polish out everything like you can with the paint. I'm not sanding this for obvious reasons. So I'm just trying to do my best to polish probably a good way to look at it is like down inside of those individual scratches. I'm going to even polish inside of there to try and bring that that shine up. So I'm going to do the same area again. I'm applying some material onto my buffer and then I am just polishing along to get myself a little area to work and along I go. Now I don't know if you can see this little reflection line right here, right, right along there like that. You can see where I'm polishing and where I haven't. 
and it, it's removing like a haze off of the glass, off of the plastic. You can see it right along here pretty good. Uh, hopefully you can pick it up in the camera, but that's what I'm really trying to get rid of is that haze. So I'll just keep working this area like this and keep going along and you can see how you know back here I, I don't get that haze anymore but as I chase it down the window I can see that that I'm chasing that haze so I'll and wipe this down and the thing that I do notice about this when I do this is my gloss is coming up but my plastic yeah, it's very slick it it's 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 like slippery it's almost like i you know almost like i polished it well i have polished it but you know what i mean i don't have any yeah i don't have any like debris left on there it's polished that off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue to work this area i'm going to do this entire inside of the window with the microfiber and step one then we'll come back on and we'll do the whole glass with step number two Okay, so now I have my entire interior inside of the glass, on this half anyways, done with step number one. So now I'm going to use step number two. So I'm going to use this orange foam um, buffing pad from Gryots. I'm going to place it on my little Gryots buffer. And I am going to use 3M's number two compound. So I have a clean rag that goes with this. So what you don't want to do is you want to make sure that number one has completely been removed. You're going to change rags. You're going to change pads from the microfiber to the foam pad. I'm using an orange one. And we're going to use number two compound with a fresh rag. So I'm going to apply the number two compound directly to the pad. And I am going to basically do the same exact thing I did on the first application, except I'm doing it with number two. This is a finer compound. It's going to take and remove the scratches that the, that the um, number one put in the plastic and allow for a little bit better shine. So I'm moving often, and I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm allowing the um, the oscillator to do its thing and suspend. Okay, now I have that small area that I started with done. I'm going to wipe the compound off of that so I can get a good look at it and see what it looks like. I'm trying to see it basically in the reflection of the lighting. So then I'm going to do like I always do and do it a second time. Buffer. I'm going to put a little bit of this on there and we're going to go ahead and go. The plastic is getting quite reflective at this point, so you're probably getting a lot of reflection in the camera. I apologize for that. This is about the best I could figure out how to do it. So I'm just going to you know, work this area just like this and just... This would work the same way if the window was in the car, although I can't imagine you doing the um, inside of the glass like this with the window in the car, but with the window being out and being flat, I think it makes for better illustration as far as the video goes. So I've done this once, and I'm going to take and wipe this down, and I think my window is starting to look pretty darn good. It still has a slight little bit of haze to it, but that should be removed by step number three. And there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on. All right, and we're back. So step two has been completed on this entire interior panel. I've wiped it all down. I've changed myself out for step number three of my uh, 3M's compound system. I got a fresh rag for my number three, and I have a black... 
uh, foam pad for my Gryot buffer. I'm going to apply that. Boom. And now I'm going to use my number three. I'm going to do it the same way that I've done everything else. I'm going to apply a little bit to the actual buffing pad itself. And we are going to start up here in the corner and work our way around. Now this is the final application of the 3M system. And if you watch my paint video, you'll know that this one generally goes pretty quick. And the other two coarser braces really kind of cut everything, all, all the dirt and scratches and everything are removed with that. And this just basically polishes up the, the surface and brings up the shine. So, I'll work a small area. I will keep my buffer moving, make sure that my material, my surface doesn't get dry. And then once I'm done with that area, I will take my fresh clean rag and then wipe that and take a look at it. Probably should look pretty darn good, which in fact it does. And then I am going to apply again and do that same area a second time and I will overlap my way around. So I will continually do this. We got step number three and we're just gonna work this along just like this. I just keep my buffer moving. You can tell if you're putting too much pressure on the buffer because this won't turn anymore. See, watch. I can stop it if I put a lot of pressure on it. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. I want to let it, do, let it spin and do its own little thing. You're allowing the tool to do the job. Okay, so there we go there. Got my little rag and we'll wipe this off. And as you can see, it's got a nice shine to it. And uh, it's pretty impressive. It shines it up almost like paint. Got that same kind of shine to it. Okay, so here's the side I've done both sides of this. I'm going to get in really close. You can see some of the deeper scratches that I couldn't really get out up over in here. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's the side that I did with the 3M on both sides. This is my other areas that I did. Um, you can still see, you know, some of the hazing and scratching on that one. The other ones don't look bad, but they're just not quite as good. So I'm going to take this tape off, and I am going to complete this entire window um, with the 3M system on both sides. I'm going to get it mounted on my car, and I'll probably come back on and show you what it looks like after it's done. All right, so I laid my window on the bench to uh, begin buffing the opposite side over here. And what I could really see is the difference between this area here I did with the 3M and this area over here, what I did with the other. You can s literally see a line right here where the plastic is. It's, um, I don't know even know how to explain it to you. It's like dingy. So... Um, I just wanted to come on and show you, you know, like a, like a sharp contrast of, you know, what it looks like from one to the other. And now I'm going to get at it. Folks, so I just wanted to come on and show you the results once the window was all done in the car. Here's my Imperial project. I don't know if you're familiar. Uh, this is also like the chrome, I mean the uh, stainless trim that I repaired in one of my other videos. You might want to check that out. But here is what my window looks like now that it's all done. It looks pretty darn good. I mean, I'm looking through it. I mean, obviously there's a lot of reflection from the lights that I have in here, but I mean, this is harsh lighting. This is like a lot of fluorescent light. So I think that, you know, overall, this is pretty darn good. I mean, this is what you'd see from like, say your rear view mirror. And I think, I mean, overall, I think that's pretty good results. So one of the things I did want to say is that I did use one additional product once I had this all in the car. 
just to get rid of any static electricity and um, fingerprints and things of that nature, I use this product here. It's called Plexus. Basically, it's just a wipe it on, buff it off kind of uh, product. I'll put a link to that down below with everything else. So there's the results on the Imperial project. Window looks great. It's not a hard process to do. Uh, it's very similar to my other process. I appreciate you tuning in. So please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me. Click my links down below and good luck on your project.